a busy intersection near Central City and the CBD, Carondelet and Calliope right off the Pontchartrain Expressway. And for the fifth time in recent months, an 18-wheeler got stuck underneath the overpass. The accident snarled traffic for much of the day, and frustrated drivers want to know why more isn't being done to address this problem. WDSU reporter Andy Cunningham is live at that intersection, Carondelet and Calliope tonight, where it just reopened. Andy? That's right, Scott. More than nine hours. That's how long this latest incident had this portion of Caron just let street shut uh, down. And some laughed it off while others expressed their frustrations. I got a ticket for it. The driver of the 18 wheeler, Bill Carter, said he's made this turn hundreds of times before. The problem is you can't get wide enough. And they don't have a no truck sign, no truck sign here, so it means we can come down here. He blames the lack of signage and cars that are allowed to park under the bridge. It's either put a, a sign up here that says no trucks, or tell them no parking. He found out the hard way Tuesday morning around 11 when he tried to make that left turn like others before him onto Carondelet. Once your tire hits the curb, it kicks it up into the bridge. You know what I'm saying? I see. So you're in a lose lose situation. By noon, WDSU viewers had snapped numerous photos of the stuck truck from all angles. We met others like Nathan Wolf on scene doing the same thing. It is what it is. Sympathy for the driver. He said Carter shouldn't take all the blame. These things are going to happen no matter how many laws, no matter how many traffic regulations change. The city said the Pontchartrain Expressway is under DOTD jurisdiction. However, the state and city did enter into a joint use agreement that allows the city to develop the area under US 90 for public parking. It's very dramatic with you. That's why I stopped. Dallas Rolneck couldn't get enough of the drama. My weekend started today. I was on my way to unload my tools at my shop and I saw this and, uh, and then I got hooked. Others more harsh with how they felt about it and why more isn't being done to prevent it. We finally freed the trailer six hours after the bridge claimed its latest victim, and many believe it's not if, but when it will happen again. The driver was cited with reasonable vigilance, and attorneys tell me that's a traffic violation only issue here in the city of New Orleans. And basically, it's the minimal citation required by law. And no word tonight from state transportation officials if they have any immediate plans to address this intersection here behind me. Reporting live on your side, I'm Andy Cunningham. We'll send it back to you. Thanks, Andy. The last time this happened was on March 30th in the exact same way the Symmetrek there got stuck during rush hour.